My wife really loves Highland cows. She's just got a huge thing for them. There's a Highland cow shower curtain in our hall bath. There's five or six plush ones sitting on a little chair in our living room. There's uh, there's a throw rug in that bathroom that's got a shower curtain that's a Highland cow. She just really likes Highland cows. I even got her a bunch of 3D printed ones one year for I think her birthday or maybe Valentine's Day or something, and they just sit in her dining room. I had this piece of basswood and I wanted to try with a Monport CO2 laser to try and make a cool little uh, Highland cow thing for her. Um, don't mind the image overlapping here. I bought a vector graphic just for this. I put the square around it myself. I didn't want a bunch of dead space on his many sides as possible. So I cut a little bit of the image off. That's what that's about. Let's just pop this out here. Get rid of that. I will say right away, this was my first attempt. Um, I thought I had some decent settings and it got a little hot maybe. There's a little more burn than I would like, but it did it great. And it, ignore this, these were eyes that were already in the wood. So obviously those are gonna get darker because they're a denser concentration of wood. The wood's different. So you do get some eyes. But overall, I was very happy with that. It doesn't help that the piece of wood I was using is bowed too. So you get a little bit of unevenness, but with a little bit of refinement, uh, this would look amazing. There is, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me focus there. I don't know how well you can appreciate the depth on camera, but there's quite a bit of depth. Like you can feel it and it, you can really see it in here in person. Let's try to get that in focus a little better. Just let you see that there. Obviously this is like really thin wood. I think it's one and a half millimeter. If I had done this on three millimeter, it would have looked a lot better. And without CO2 laser, you could do like, do this onto like a quarter inch piece or half inch piece and have really nice deep uh, work on it. Maybe I'll, I'll revisit that someday when I actually perfect this for her. I do have some wood that I bought that's a lot thicker and maybe I'll put this on there in some other little scenes and then cut them, you know, have these cool little things. I, I love this Monpour CO2 laser. Um, I am so happy with it. It is, it is interesting. It's taken me a while to figure it out. Mostly just the settings. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can go online and find settings. I'm just a duff and was like trying random ones on my own. <laughs> Finally, I did Google around and I found a file for a light, um, light burn that <laughs> has a lot of 20 watt CO2 laser settings. So hopefully I start getting a lot better with this thing. Can do some cool things for the nieces and nephews. For Christmas, we've got 54 nieces and nephews, I think on my wife's side. And what, at least three on my side. Um, I've never actually met some of my siblings, so I'm not sure. But <laughs> you could just make these cool little gifts. Like I always go on Etsy and buy stuff for my wife for our anniversary. We technically we have two anniversaries because we were married in a parking lot. And then we had our proper wedding, our ceiling, uh, several months later. And, and we've got Valentine's Day and her birthday. And I give her Halloween gifts. That's a holiday that we give each other gifts for because we're both big Halloween nerds. But like, how cool is this? I can make things for her. Or we can make things for people at church one year. Uh, a couple came to our house and brought us a little sh cheap charcuterie board and it had like, you know, the Mercers on it. And it was just like uh, probably about this big, not not very big, but it was, it was a nice little touch. And then they brought us cheeses that they smoked themselves and some summer sausage and stuff. And it was just like, oh, that's, that's a cute little touch. So you can do all kinds of things like this. And it's just like, uh, it's exciting to me. I'm like a kid with these lasers. They're just, they're so cool. There will be a link to the laser in the sticky comment and the description. There will also be a coupon or a discount code, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one word, Ryan Mercer, which should save you 10% or something like that on Monport. So you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested in buying one of these. Um, they do have, they have some really expensive lasers that go into like the $2,000 range for CO2. I think this one is like six, $700 depending on the coupon code and just the time of the year and stuff. They've got a new one out that's really cool that I wish I had. 
that actually has a camera in it now. Um, my model doesn't have a camera, so you have to align stuff manually. If you can afford it, I would definitely go with like the camera one. But, you know, that's up to you and your budget. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Again, check out the link in the sticky comment, the discount code. I'll see you guys in the next video.